you're not imagining it, the graphics card market is getting a lot worse. We're gonna go through why that is and what you need to be doing right now in order to get yourself a graphics card. That's coming right up. Hi, welcome back to PC Builder, I'm Jason. You might notice new studio behind me, really super excited about it, and I'll post more about that in the future. But most of you are here because the graphics card market is totally out of control right now. And just when you thought it couldn't get any worse, we've gone to a whole nother level of GPU hell. Prices are going up. Seems like there's no end of the shortage in sight. And you're wondering what you need to be doing to get a graphics card right now because you wanna finish your build. Don't worry, we're gonna go through all of that. Of course, if you're new to the channel, we're almost at 20,000 subscribers. As I'm recording this right now, why don't you join us by hitting that like button and subscribe to get more information on how to get the best price to performance in your builds. With that, let's jump right into this one. Let's start off by taking a look at where the graphics card market is right now in April. So Tom's Hardware has been tracking GPU prices on the secondary market that's both used as well as resale by scalpers and others of the newest cards like the RTX uh, 3000 series by NVIDIA and the RX 6000 series by AMD. Now, if you take a look at these graphs, they are a little hard to see. You can see though, from October 2020 here, all the way up to where we're at now in April, while the linear trend line of prices has only increased about this, if you look recently at the median sales price, which is this kind of bluish gray line, it has spiked sharply upwards and then it kind of flattened out for a while and now it is spiking again. If you look at um, RDNA 1 cards, this is the as well as Turing, that's the RTX 2000 series and the older RX 5000 series of cards, you're seeing the same thing, only this time, I think the trend line here, the green line, is pretty more, much more indicative of just the insane price inflation we're seeing over the last couple of months. This is the Polaris graphics cards. This is like RX 580, RX 570, just completely shot through the moon. Uh, we can go on, there's more to look at in here, but you get the gist. The market is getting worse every single day, and there's a couple of very specific reasons for that. The number one reason the market is getting so bad is this graph here. This is what we're all fighting. This is the price of Ethereum. Ethereum is a cryptocurrency that you can mine with GPUs. In fact, it's pretty much the cryptocurrency to mine with a GPU right now. It's not the only one you can do it. There are others, Ravencoin, et cetera, et cetera, but Ethereum is the one that's driving this. And I have some bad news for you. The day I'm filming this video in early April, you can see right here, the price has held pretty steady under $2,000 per one Ethereum until today. And today it sh absolutely shot through the roof. And in fact, I'm just gonna hit, hit refresh here because the market hadn't yet closed on this, but it looks like it's gonna close somewhere around $2,100. Well, it doesn't really close, it just keeps going, but the market's at $2,100. So it's really set a new price premium or price threshold for Ethereum, which is bad news for anybody who wants to buy a graphics card for gaming purposes. Now, why is this? This is a really simple reason. When you and I buy a graphics card as a gamer, we buy it as an expense. It is a one-time purchase and we typically only need one, maybe two if we got another machine that we're building. When miners buy these cards, these cards print them money. They are ATM machines to these miners. So a miner is willing to pay whatever it takes to get that GPU as long as it hits their break even point at some point in the future, maybe three, five, six, uh, six months in the future. That means if this card makes even just you know, 15, 20 bucks a day or even less, this thing can pay for itself very quickly and then anything over that is profit for them. In that case, if you had a machine that printed you money, how many of those machines would you go out and buy? Well, you'd buy as many as you possibly could. The demand would be infinite. It's not a gamer buying a card and now they no longer need a card. This is the same miners they are just gonna keep buying these cards as long as it's profitable. There is no threshold for their demand. This is what it's called, really, it's an infinite demand curve. They 
will take as much as the market will produce and they're making money with them. So what happens then when they're just infinite demand, they're willing to pay all the way up to the break even point for them. What does that do? Well, that drives up the price, right? Infinite demand, limited supply, and you get what you see here, which is just absolutely insane prices. This is RTX 3080 cards, almost at the $3,000 level. I would expect them to actually continue to go up, maybe even be higher than that, because right now the price ceiling is being set, not by gamers buying cards and how much those cards are worth to gamers, but how much they are worth as ATM money printing machines. Of course, you gotta remember, it's the miners will pay as little as possible for these cards. They're not seeking to drive the price up. They're just willing to pay more. The people who are driving the price up are the scalpers. That's right. These are the folks out there grabbing up every single card that they can to sell it at the true market price, not the manufacturer's suggested retail price, the MSRP. They're looking to sell it at the absolute highest market price they can. And that is where the graphics card market right now is broken. There's a It's a trifecta, if you will. There's cryptocurrency demand that is through the roof. There is limited supply. And there are scalpers out there who are willing to effectively abuse the system, scoop up as many cards as they can with bots, and then resell them on eBay and other sites. So when does it get better? Well, I'm not gonna belabor this because I did a whole video on what it's gonna take in order for it to get better. Basically, one of two things has to happen. Either Ethereum and cryptocurrencies that are mineable by GPUs have to absolutely crash as they did. I've got the graph up here with Ethereum all the way back to 2015. As you can see, it spiked 2017, 2018, and it crashed in 2019. I don't think that's gonna happen this time. I think there's a lot more uh, institutional, financial institutions heavily invested in specifically Bitcoin, but also some other types of cryptocurrency, and they're buying into cryptocurrency. There's some possibility that it may be outlawed or there's a lot of scuttlebutt politically about what might happen to it. I just don't think that anybody is going to really step up to the plate and take it on. I think this is what we're gonna see for some time, especially in such a volatile period. The second thing that could happen is we could evolve the gaming GPUs and mining GPUs away from them significantly enough where it just always made sense to buy a mining GPU and there's enough out there. I, you know, again, that's a three to five year process. I think that's the way it needs to go, but that's gonna take a while. So now let's talk about what you can do as a gamer when you're out there looking to get one of these cards at MSRP. Um, yes, MSRPs are going up. If you look at, for instance, MSI uh, last week, they raised their, they said they're, they're gonna raise their prices. They want a cut of this money. Everybody wants a cut. They see the profitability in the secondary market, they're gonna drive up their MSRP. So if you wanna get a card, right now is still the time to do it because prices are only gonna go one direction right now, and that is up. Uh, Asus, of course, just yesterday, they announced that they're also gonna, they're gonna spike their prices up. Now, we'll see. You know, everybody wants to cut. Retailers wanna cut, uh, the distributors wanna cut, the board partners who manufacture the cars want to cut, and AMD and NVIDIA want to cut. Everybody wants to cut this thing, and of course the scalpers are in there taking their cut as well. So everybody wants it. So if you want to get a graphics card, number one thing you could be doing right now is now is the time to look. I would not wait if you want a graphics card anytime in the next six months to a year. I would not wait. But what specifically do you need to be focused on? Well, the first thing that you need to focus on is tracking down the right cards. I see way too many people out there saying, oh, I have to get an RTX 3080. I'm holding out for a EVGA for the win three, you know, uh, RTX 3080. Here's the problem with that. Or that I, I see some people saying, oh, I'm waiting for a 3060 Ti or a 6800. Look, the way these cards are manufactured is that they are produced using a die system. So you get a certain amount of chip dies out of a large wafer. Now, the chips, the dies that go into the 3080 cards are the same dies that go into the 3090 cards. Which one do you think the manufacturers would rather sell? A 3090 at a much higher price or a 3080? So then why do they make 3080s at all? Well, in normal times, they can't sell enough high-end cards. So they either just take the defective 3090s and they 
reduce some of the non-functional cores on there in order to get it down into a 3080 level. Or if they don't have enough defective dies, they actually take fully functional, just perfectly good 3090 cards and they would cut them down to the 3080 specs and they would then sell it at a lower, uh, lower price. And the reason they do that is to simply eliminate the stock. Well, we're in a situation right now where they can literally sell anything that they mint right now. Anything that, any die they produce, they can sell. So why would they sell a 3080 that is not def a defective 3090? They won't. So the supply right now of 3080s, 3060 Ti's and 6800s and 6800 XT's is going to be very, very low because they want to sell them as the much more profitable cards. So my first tip to you is focus on a much wider range of cards. Don't just go for the cards that are cut down versions like the 3080s and the 3060 Ti's. Be willing to buy a 3070. Be willing to buy a 3060. Be willing to go up and buy a 3090. Uh, you might have to do that. I would focus on expanding my range of cards to include everything and not just, not just go all in on a, a narrow range of cards that you're not gonna get. So what are the other things that you can do right now to go out and get a card? Well, let me go through a couple of things that I haven't gone through in the past. And the first one I wanna start off with is Micro Center. If you have a Micro Center anywhere near you, I mean, I would even consider driving five hours right now, pick up a motel room if you got to, but find out when they typically get stock in. Find out how they're distributing their graphics cards there. Sometimes there's uh, there's the overnight list where people wait out and they sign up on a list and you know the first 15 or 20 people or however many they have, they get graphics cards. I would take a look at that. I would definitely take a look at a micro center or any physical retailer near you that sells graphics cards. I think this is gonna be the one of the most reliable ways to do it. If you're in a market without a micro center, what are your other local uh, retailers around them? Call them up, go down and visit them, see what's going on there. Secondly, I, I know I sell this one all the time. I gotta tell you, New Egg Shuffle, uh, you know, I think it's getting harder. I think that people are catching on. Uh, more and more people are registering for it and they still only have a limited supply. So it's getting uh, increasingly harder to win. But I have subscribers all the time who tell me, hey, I got uh, an RTX uh, 3060, I got uh, a 3070, I finally got a graphics card. It's free to register for it. So there's no reason not to register for it. Now you have to check it every day. Um, it's been going from 10 a.m. Pacific time, that's 1 p.m. Eastern time. That's your sign up window from 10 a.m. Pacific to 12 p.m. Sign up, check it. They do not do it every day. They only do it on days that they have stock to drop. Don't get discouraged if they don't have it three days in a row. They'll have then they'll have one that's a big day. So just keep signing up for this thing. It is possible to do. And I do want to leave you with this. I know a lot of people really, really want to do a build this year, but I do want to just at least open your eyes to that for the price of a RTX 3080 at eBay, which we saw earlier, almost at $3,000, you can get a brand new pre-built gaming PC. This is the Skytech Shiva with a Ryzen 5 5600X and an RTX 3080, 16 gigs of memory at 3200 speed. Again, this is a B550 motherboard. This is a really good uh, pre-built PC. I have a whole video on them. This is, I keep the links in that description there constantly updated. I do it about every day or two with all the best deals. So definitely check that out. If you don't want to watch my video, that's fine. Watch somebody else's video. But this is definitely another option. Given how much graphics cards have inflated, the pre-built manufacturers, or rather the, um, the system integrators, I should say, they are still getting these cards at wholesale price, not MSRP necessarily. I know AMD just made a big promise for their RX 6700 XT cards, they're gonna send a lot of them to system integrators. So I'm hoping that within the next month or so, we'll start seeing pre-built roll out with the 6700 XT in them as well. And finally, there is some hope, uh, I think for the lower end market. It looks like Nvidia is going to, or at least they're rumored to uh, be boosting their supply of the GTX 1650. I don't know if that also means the 1650 Super because yes, like. You see a lot of graphics cards out there that probably have no mining value whatsoever, and they're stupid, ridiculous prices. Well, that's because 
gamers are fighting over the scraps of what's left and there's not much left. So we're driving up those prices like GTA uh, 1050 Ti and RX 570s and things of that nature. But it did just come out uh, about a day ago that NVIDIA is going to boost the supply of the GTX 1650. Hopefully that also means the 1650 Super. It's just a, uh, a better card than the 1650. So hopefully we do see some relief at the budget end as well. Uh, especially for these cards that really have no or negligible mining value. So that's why the graphics card market's going crazy right now and what you can do in order to get yourself a new graphics card. Just on a side note, I just wanted to highlight the new studio. My wife and I uh, moved recently, so we were able to upgrade the studio with it. This is the kind of the base setup right now. Uh, it's gonna be, allow us to do a lot more builds, a lot more testing, a lot more fun stuff for the channel. I'm super excited about it. Again, like the video, subscribe, all that kind of stuff for more content to come. But just for my regular viewers, I want to say super thanks to everybody who helped make this possible. Um, we're almost at 20,000 subscribers. Just really want to shout out to all of you who have supported us from the beginning, or maybe you supported us since last week. Either way, your support is really valued. So thank you all so much, and we'll catch you on the next one. Come, 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 come on.